Crimes like these involving juveniles are increasing across Louisville. That video is still astonishing. WDRB's Christy Batista sat down with the mayor to see what can be done about the violence. It's an ever growing problem in Louisville. Young people on the streets with guns. It's totally unacceptable. It's scary. And I understand people's fear and concern when they see this happening in their neighborhood that they either work in, where they live in. Mayor Craig Greenberg sat down with us to discuss gun violence in our community, something that's been one of his top priorities since being elected. WDRB records show at least 40 juveniles have been involved in violent crimes since the beginning of the year, but the mayor says it's not an overnight fix. We need more police officers to help us with it, but we can't wait. And so that's why when there are issues like this, we are going to respond quickly. We showed Mayor Greenberg this video in Butchertown outside of Vendome Copper and Brass. About a month ago, people shooting up and down Franklin Street. At least two 18-year-olds were arrested that night for allegedly having AR-15s in their waistbands. Police have not confirmed if those are the same people in this video. You can't look at a video like that and not say guns are part of the problem. Look at the weapons that those kids have in their hands. In Louisville, Kentucky, to think that kids are carrying around assault we weapons, firing them willy-nilly, is totally unacceptable. He says he's working with LMPD and the owners of the company to install more cameras in the area and have more patrols to ensure things like this don't happen again. Neighbors tell us a bullet went through a home nearby, barely missing a baby's crib. What do you have to tell those, those neighbors who are, quite frankly, scared at night? I understand the fear. As someone who had six gunshots fired directly at me from 15 feet away, and I feel the same good fortune that I'm sure that family is feeling. Um, I know the feeling of es escaping death and the fear that that brings and how that changes your perspective on life. But he says he cannot do it alone and continues to ask for help from state and federal lawmakers. Give us in Louisville more tools so we can crack down on this type of illegal gun use. It is totally unacceptable in our city and I want our administration to do everything that we know we can do to end this, but we do need some help. In the meantime, he hopes new programs like the group violence intervention will be just one of the short-term solutions. With photojournalist Jonathan McEmber, I'm Christy Batista, WDRB News.